Hey, Lotro Enthusiast, my name is James, and today we're actually going to be doing something very, very awesome because we're going to be taking down the Eater of Worlds. Now, I just want to say this at the start of this episode, I don't actually have a lot of time to record today. Usually I have about four hours, today I have about 40 minutes because one of my closest friends is coming to visit me today, and I actually, if you didn't know, I moved to another city recently, like I'm like completely live way out now for my friends to come and see me, so it's really nice that he's coming to see me, but the main thing about him is that this guy, his name is Kieran, he was the first person who bought me a microphone. He bought me a microphone when we were both about 13 years old, and he said, James, you'd be really good at YouTube, you know, do it. And, uh, yeah, that's how it, that's how it, literally, that's how it all started, man. And, um, now four years later, here I am, so... It's absolutely insane. I've just realized I've just crafted the wrong potion there. All right, so it's time for a boss fight, right? Let's, uh, I just built the stadium because I didn't want to like waste any time of the episode on that. Uh, time is short today. All right, one. All right, it'll be one more after this. Oh, I'm not going to be able to reach it, am I? All right, okay, yeah. All right, buff up. All right, okay, let's, uh, let's get this going. Now, he is super aggressive in this mode, and, like, avoiding him is going to be a little bit hard. I am really... I'm going to, like, be honest with you. I'm trying to tank this fight. I know I am. Like, when I set out to do this, I knew I'd be trying to tank it. So, hopefully... Right, okay. I'm sorry about this, guys. I did... It was a big issue that I would get... Thing is, I'm not good with knockback at the minute, because I haven't got a, uh, a cobalt shield. So, I'm just taking really, really small damage right now. Come on. Alright, okay, we just gotta be really, really aggressive. That's actually the thing. We just gotta be super aggressive with this fight. Because if not, we're gonna uh, we're gonna really suffer. Cause the thing is you have to because once he's um once he's splitting up and such, he's gonna get more and more um he's gonna get more and more harder to fight because obviously he's gonna be knocking you around and such. We've got a molten bow that like blows up in our face and such. So we've just gotta make sure we find a nice little balance. Come on. Alright, okay, we've got a little heart down there, great. Alright, okay, like I say, being super, super aggressive and tanky. This is not how I'd normally do a boss fight, not really my style, because I'm being a little bit stupid here, but if we can get it done, we can get it done. Alright, we're getting lots of gold, this is kind of weird, I don't think you got that much gold. Alright, we're only taking 14 damage from our, um, from our little explosion, so that's good. Alright, okay, heal up. Alright, now it's just a little one, so we need to make sure we just get them real quick. Alright, okay. There we go. Alright, one last piece. Come on. There we go. Right, okay. Super, super tanky. Super, super stupid boss fight. Um, stupid on my half. That was really bad on my half. I do apologise. Right, so. I want to state this right now. Before I go into hard mode, which I could easily do now, because we do have good stuff. I'm going to... Oh yeah, the worm scarf. I'm going to instead uh, focus on... I'm going to instead focus on going to, uh, not going to anywhere, what am I saying? I'm instead going to focus on my accessories beforehand to make sure that we've got everything right. So we need to see, we've got some really, really good stuff here. This is the thing. So it's hard to like kind of pick and choose about what I'm going to put on. That worm scarf's nice though. Right, so we're heading straight to the jungle because there are a few accessories I'd like from the jungle. One of them is a clown in a bottle. I'd really like to find the goblin. I'd really like the... Um, the charm of speed. I can't remember what it's called, but the charm that you use to, um, the charm that get used in the lightning boots. Because I want to make sure that we have lightning boots in hard mode. And I feel like that's going to be it for accessories that I actually really want. Um, I know that I could maybe make an obsidian helmet and combine that with the lucky horseshoe. I probably won't, just for now. Um, but yeah, so. They, those are what I want. I also want, obviously, full health before we go into anywhere. Because obviously, once we hit expert mode, hard mode, we're going to get riggedy riggedy wrecked. And that's never a good thing. Are we out of, um... Ah, oh, yeah, we're out, of, we're out of good arrows. I should have uh, should have considered that before we left, but... I imagine we're going to find some while we're here. So, today I'm going to dip, dive, and dodge all the way through the jungle. I'm going to bring you guys along for the adventure, because I don't have too much time today, like I said. And, um, bringing you guys along for the adventure is a good way to, you know... Fill up some of the space that I usually have in these episodes. I usually end up having to cut a lot out, so today's going to be a little bit more raw than what you usually see, and I think that's a good thing. Right, so. Alright, I should brighten this anyway, but I know this area is dark. Right, now, we came here originally, we got our butts kicked. Now we have the combined efforts of 
uh, not being able to take fall damage, and just being a little bit tankier, I guess. Okay, that's Queen Bee biome. I've not considered fighting the Queen Bee an expert yet. I've um, I was never very good at it. Let's just say that I was never very good at it. So, oh, what do we have? All oh, right, okay. Yeah, so I'm just a little bit worried about it. All right, okay. It's weird to plummet so far and feel, like, safe. It's not, it's just not normal. Right, so let's have a little look at our surroundings. We've got a heart crystal down there. Oh, oh, I need to shout out to this. I completely forgot um, that we had a... Uh, that we Not completely forgot. I completely missed the, uh, the mushroom... Oh, God. Oh, no, the goblin! The goblin, the goblin, goblin. I really want him. I really want him. I need to make sure he doesn't die. Right, okay, let's, um... Let's focus our efforts on getting some rope out. Oh, come on, we really need that goblin. Okay, awesome. Bound goblin, shop. Buy whatever we need first. I always buy one of these because I'm lazy. Right, okay. I know it's very dark, guys. I do apologize. Right, okay, awesome. That's great news because that was one of the things I wanted. I said that. Right, okay. We'll open this house up. Yeah, I completely missed the mushroom chest yesterday, which is just completely stupid of my art. Right. Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Uh, not what I wanted at all. Jump. Grab this. Grab this little life crystal. Right, now... I'm going to swap over for to, for just a minute. I'm going to swap over these two. Because I'd really like to fly at the minute. Right. Alright, so that's the queen bee biome there. We're just looking for... Which, at the minute, we're just looking for some nice little, like, heart crystals, you know, some some accessory places to get accessories from. The little houses, you know what I mean. Okay, right, so, hmm. Right, I don't appear to have seen anything this way. Right, let's take on this all. Let's just get rid of him for now. Right, let's have a little look at our map. I say we carry on going down, because we're not at the bottom of the world just yet. And carry on going down and have a little look down here. I really am just trying to rush through this place. I just want the heart crystals. That's like pretty much it. There we go. There's one. Right. News. Right. This is going to be our little temple. <laughs> David, that's like, oh, the meteorite's finally landed. David, that's pretty funny that the um, the little piranha's like coming after the, go uh, the goblin. <laughs> right. Oh, ooh, one there. See, best place to go is literally the jungle. It's so good in here. Right, let's take that. Oh, do I have to realise we could do? I bet you guys have already thought about this. Um. Okay. Spectre boots. There you go. That solves my problem of which one to have. Right, so let's keep looking. Um, did I take that heart crystal? Yeah. Oh, that was stupid. Nah, see, happens to you. That's like the most trolliest way to die in Terraria at the minute. And also, there was a heart crystal under there, so that's kind of nice. Ah, cool. All right, so we only dropped three gold, twenty-nine silver, and twenty-six copper. Not too bad at all when you think about it. Right, is there a goblin here? Oh, we don't actually have room for the goblin. That's not good. Right, is there anything that we can combine that I wanted to combine? Um, right, okay, let me just uh, let me just speak to the guide real quick. You obviously can't combine that. Which one's this? So you can do the... We've got two of these, so we can make the Charmer Miss and the Mana Regen. Right, let's see. Spectre Boots. Do you need the... Yeah, that's what I want. I want the Aglet of Wind. And... Can you combine that with anything other than the... Yeah, right, okay. I need the Cloud and a Bottle as well. I really want the Cloud and a Bottle. I'm going to place this down here just for now. And try and sort out some of this inventory just real quick like that. Right, so what I may do is I may have a little break, go meet my friend, come back later and post this a little late, but that's fine. So I can do a little bit more uh, scrounging around the jungle, which would be really, really good, which I'm uh, looking forward to. I'm always, uh, I'm always a big fan of the jungle. I'm always a really big fan. It's got a lot of good loot there. Okay, so I'm back in the jungle and I've actually managed to find an anklet of wind. Now, all I need to find is a cloud and a bottle 
and then that will be us for the day in terms of the jungle i may also craft the amazon which is the yo-yo obviously that we've used in previous videos i'm probably going to craft that just because that may be my way of fighting skeletron um when i actually do tackle the dungeon because having a yo-yo is really really good for the fight so i may do that i'm not too sure but what i'll do is i'll kick around here but there isn't actually anything i want after i get a clown the bottle is this gonna be it nah ah well all right, so I filled up all of my heart containers. I died, and now it's time to actually get some crafting done. So we're gonna craft the lightning boots. Are you guys ready? Bum ba bum. We got some hasty lightning boots now. Plus three movement speed. I feel like I'm gonna reforge them, maybe for defense. Uh, plus four damage. I'll take it. Right. So that means that we've got an accessory spot freed up. I'll probably take these. I'll probably take this. Um. And I'll put inside the spike shoes because I'm never going to use them because we have rocket boots now. And I'll keep the frog leg on me just in case I want to do like farming or anything. Um, I guess that's what I'll keep it on me for. At least if I have that die on it makes it look like it's actually part of the set. Um, but until then I feel like we've got pretty good accessories for now. I could probably make this better with obsidian but like what's the point? Um, I don't know. Can you craft this one sec? I just want to check. Can you actually mold this with anything? Right, it can go with any of the horseshoes, so if it goes with a fart and a balloon, it goes to the green horseshoe balloon. Um, or the obsidian horseshoe. So I'm going to keep it, and I'll mash it with a fart and a balloon. Right, and I can't remember how you make the fart and a balloon. I believe it's the fart and a bottle with a balloon. Um, so I need a balloon, so I'll probably have to use uh, some grab potions. I do actually think I have some. I may use some grab potions to try and find a balloon, and I'll let you guys know. Python, what are you doing on Black Ops, boy? Okay, so there are no floating islands in the world left that I've not already explored. So what I thought I'd do is I'd take an alternate route and actually just go into uh, farm for one. So I've got some crate potions here. Uh, I've also got some sonar potions somewhere. Um, I feel like I can craft some. But I'm just going to go and um, farm for some um, floating island crates and then hopefully we'll actually um, we'll get a balloon out of it. Because it'd be good to make that accessory. Because that's what I want my cloud in a bottle for. Oh, actually, actually, uh, we do have something. Um, we do have a floating island here that I didn't uh, find because I was on the other side of the world. And I thought I'd covered this land. So, let's see if we can find it. And then if not, we'll actually just get some fishing done, like I said. Alright, come on. Come on, balloon, balloon, balloon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, got a shiny red balloon. So that is everything we want to do for in terms of that. So, I just need to track down a cloud and a bottle, make, probably make an Amazon, and then uh, we can do Skeletron, um, and see how that goes. Now, I'm going to use, um, I'm not sure what method I'm going to use for Skeletron just yet. There's a playlist that was actually sent to me by someone in the YouTube message section, um, with a person who goes by the name of Anonymous, so there you go, who has like a breakdown of every single expert mode boss, and how to do it with every single class. So, I'm going to study them, and I'll also probably study the video by Yurimir, because that was really handy. And check it out. Wow. Shout out to the ambulance people. Oh, do you what? Really crazy story about the ambulance people. I always mention it in my videos that I can hear ambulances and such. And like, there's so many throughout the city. Literally last night, right? Some guy was, was like, right in front of my house. Just got completely taken out by a car. Like, completely taken out. And, uh, and I had to ring an ambulance for it, of course. Because obviously, like, that's just what you have to do. And, um... Like, it came in a minute and a half, this ambulance, right? A minute and a half. I was the only person on the scene, like, until people crowded around later on. So I was the only person who called it, and it took a minute and a half, right? Where I used to live, it used to take, like, an hour to get an ambulance. So that's uh, that's really good. So when I say shout out to the ambulance people, respect to them. Respect to them. All right, so I'm off back to the jungle to go and see if I can find anything else on this area here. Or I may start tackling under here. I may actually go here for a different change of scenery. Because we're a little bit more equipped. So I'm going to go try and find a clown in a bottle. Um, because that would be a really cool way to end the episode. Getting all my accessories. Oh, also I should clarify by the way. The person was fine. Um, completely fine. He probably just had a like, slight concussion. I feel like I should clarify that. Yeah. Oh, so I've just stumbled across this little guy over here. And I'm going to buy a yo-yo now. I don't need it. But I'm going to buy one in case I ever do take a yo-yo approach. Also, I'll take a few strange brews. And I will take some... Ooh, what's that? Five ranged. What's this do? I don't know why he sells that. It seems like a very weird thing to sell. Can't be placed him. It's a Deathly Glow. That was cool. I'll take like ten of them for the hat. Well, I'll take like 
I'll take 20 if I ever use them. Okay, cool. I just want to keep you I uh, want to keep you up to date with uh, just like uh, finding NPCs and such. Hey, got my cloud in a bowl. Right, so we are done for actual questing today. Um, so that's good. I got everything done. And uh, yeah. And, oh, also, sorry this episode is late, by the way, guys. I've had some, um, like, I had some family stuff to not deal with. But I had some family visitors and such. Um, and I had to take that off. It happens. Right, so. These two can combine together to make the cloud and a balloon. However, I want to do something a little bit different, right? I want to combine my clown a bottle with a whoopee cushion. Make the fart in a jar. Make the fart in a balloon. Right. So we can equip this now here. Right, I just want to show you this real quick. Do you hear the fart? <laughs> there we go. We move we move well now. And then combine the, you can combine these two together, that's what I saw before, wasn't it? To make the green horseshoe balloon. So, all right, let's listen to this. Oh yeah, we got the fine going on. <laughs> oh, well, we've got such good movement now. We can we can jump, ascend, fly, and fall pre-hard mode. So we can jump literally. We're jumping very very high indeed, aren't we? With no fall damage, obviously, because we have the uh, we have the horseshoe. That's really fantastic. That's a really great way to end the episode. So. I'm going to end it here, guys. I'm going to go sort out my inventory, too. So, have a fantastic day, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry that this episode is late. I also hope that everyone has a fantastic day. Being, um... Seeing a gentleman be hit by a car yesterday, to avoid sounding cliche, was a very good reminder that life is very short and that you must very... Like, you must value it so much. The gentleman was okay. But he could have not have been, right? So, today... You know, if you're having a bad day, if you've had like a bad family day, if you've had a bad day with your friends, you've fallen out with someone, go and apologize, right? Make everything all good. Like, make everything good because like seeing that yesterday reminded me literally just how much everything can can end so fastly. Like, if that makes sense. So quickly. So yes, yeah, so have a fantastic day, everyone. Try and stay positive. Oh, just have a great day. Alright, okay. Anyway, sorry for that. Um yeah, I just wanted to say that because, you know, it's just, it's just a thing on my mind that I wanted to mention. But yeah, have a fantastic day, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.